place. Great. Hello, everyone. I hope everybody's well. If you're watching safely from home, we do have a few people here in the JML Centre at East Melbourne. So we uh, have a limited capacity with the staff on board, so it's lovely to get together. Recently, you should have re received last Friday the electronic version of the annual report. And uh, you may have thought it was almost impossible that I was able to write up the annual report in that time because I was only employed within a month's period. I started back in May, but the financial year uh, ceased in June. So we only had a month to work on it, but there was a number of things happening in that space that we could report upon and also future projections that we wanted to share. Similarly to Cathy, as she's mentioned before, I'd like to say again, really I'd like to acknowledge Sherry, Kate, for their work, because it's been a long time without a direct manager in place and they've persevered through this period and kept the organisation afloat, focused on our key targets and goals. And I'd also like to acknowledge Cathy, Thank you, Kathy. Um, as President, like she was saying before, um, becoming a, a default GM for a while. So the way she managed her day job, working full time, but also taking on her role with the board and supporting staff has been absolutely incredible. Thank you, Kathy. When I came on board, the organisation and staff supported me through this process and were willing to work with me from day one. And it's been absolutely incredible. I've always looked up to the Victoria as a prominent organisation in the community. I'm very proud and feel fortunate that I've been hired to work for this organisation. And Kathy would have mentioned previously around the issues of COVID and the impact and uh, the new buzzword is pivot. So looking at our aims and goals and having to pivot due to uh, influx of change such as COVID and, and similar to this live streaming, we've certainly increased our skills with live streaming and using technology. It's not perfect. Uh, we're still tweaking the edges, but we're extremely proud of the team who persevered to ensure that we can work in this technological space. Not only technology, but the various projects we have, the plans we look at delivering, and also the various other adjustments we've needed to do to suit this COVID normal environment. So it is a testament to how we can actually pivot and work within the parameters that we live in in society. Another example is the NDIS and DHHS and how they've supported us to continue our work and the learnings that have come of that, but also uh, the confidence that is there in Victoria as an organisation because of the, the funds that have come through, they have certainly significantly increased. It sees that this organisation has a strong reputation within the community and that's something we should be proud of, not just the current team but also historically previous members who worked with this team over the years and the volunteers who established this organisation uh, 38 something years ago. One big thing that's had a huge impact on me is we, we have a strategic plan with various goals which is fantastic but there's not a lot of discussion around how we're looking at improving our internal capabilities if you like. So we need to ensure that the organisation is robust and strong and this year I feel a lot of work uh, has focused in an insular manner if you like to increase the skills development skill sets of individuals to look at how we can apply for grants and better work with the community depending on the need that's out there and I believe that's been extremely successful and in the future um, once we get a house in order, it means that we can look out for further opportunities and further consult and partner with external organisations. And of course, with you all as a community, because it is your organisation, not our organisation. It's your organisation. Another thing too, I think the organisation is certainly trying to be clear on is what is our aim? What is our purpose? What are we looking at delivering? We're not, we're not a service provider. We don't provide interpreting. We don't teach Auslan. We uh, don't sell hearing aids and so forth. But the funny thing is many people in the community believe that we do these things, which is not the case. So we need to remind people and be clear that we are an advocacy organisation. And there's other great service providers out there. However, we're able to advocate and that's our key or core objective. And if you experience barriers in accessing services, um, or people refuse to provide you with interpreters and 
so forth, please do come and speak with us because it, it is our role to support you all to better advocate, feel confident, and uh, better able to speak on your own behalf. And as I write in my report, uh, it's my first and hopefully last uh, annual report at Deaf Victoria, really the board are committed to having a manager come from the Deaf community to work for Deaf Victoria. So hopefully within my time there'll be a new GM that will replace me in this role. So if you're keen and interested and you'd like to work for the organisation, uh, we do put 